Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're gonna check out Ushort, which is a pretty cool oral shortener that's gonna help you grab any oral from the web and shorten it for you. Now, what's this gonna help you for? Well, first off, you can, instead of having a really long oral, you have a short one. Next thing we have is that you can add your own custom domain or subdomain. What does that mean for you? Well, it's easier to remember. And second, you do branding for yourself and not for someone else. So it helps you make more branding for your brand. So this is Ushort's main site and it's ushort.io. If you guys wanna check out the deal that's gonna be in the link in the description, check it out. So like I said, this is the main site. If you guys wanna check it out with Calm, just head on over to the link. Now I want to show you really quick pricing on Ushort. It's a pretty great deal. They got the free plan that you can do 200 euros and it gives you the option to add one custom domain. So like I said, it could be a, sub, a, a domain or a subdomain that you can add. Next thing is a pretty cool price, which is almost $7. You get 3,000 URLs, 10 quick pages, 10 custom call to actions, 30 event trackings, 10 custom domains, and 30 pixels. Pixels are pretty awesome, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Okay, so let's head on over to the dashboard so you can actually see what Ushort can do. And on the main dashboard, we can see the paste along URL. Like I told you, it could be long or short, but it's actually going to shorten it. So I'm gonna give you this example. I'm heading over to Ushort's uh, Facebook page. If you guys wanna check it out, it's Facebook dash you short so i'm gonna grab this link that's actually long you can see how long this is and i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna paste it and i'm gonna say facebook you short so i can put whatever alias i want right here and we have two options that are are available from you short so we got pixley.me and pixley.link so they're friendly names that we can use or we can add our own custom domain and I'll show you that in a bit. So right now I'm gonna use pixley.link for this and it's gonna shorten it and it's gonna say Facebook U short. Right now we're not gonna check out advanced options. Let's shorten it really quick. So let's shorten it and like I said, now we have pixley.link. Remember we chose that over here and this is the alias. So it's pretty easy to remember this way because we can set our own alias. So let's copy it and test it in incognito mode. Let's head on over here paste the link you can see it's a shortened link and there you go now the link is the long URL and it took me to this page that we actually chose so that's pretty cool next thing we have is the advanced options what is the advanced options well advanced options are gonna help us like I said paste the long URL use our alias but we can add more options to it so what can we can do so we can add link expiration what is link expiration for we can set a date for the link to expire and not work anymore. Why would we wanna do this? Let's just say, for example, we're running a, a giveaway and it's it's gonna be over in 30 days and when it's over, it's over, right? We don't want people to head on over there. So we can set an expiration date. Next thing we have is a password protect. Maybe you wanna add another layer of protection to whatever you're sharing. You can password protect that link. So if they choose that link, they have to use a password. So it's pretty cool. Next thing we have is a description. Description is mostly used for your case use. It's not for users, for your clients. So if you want to search for it, you can see what it's for and say, hey, this was used for a giveaway on November 2018 or something like that. Next thing we have is the geotargeting. Geotargeting is an awesome tool. It's, let's just say, for example, I'm in Mexico. If I choose Mexico and I want users, I'm sharing a, an in English link. But if they're from Mexico, the link is going to go to the Spanish version. So I can set that there. Or if it's Afghanistan, let's just set it to their language or however you want to use that geotarget. Maybe the, the promotion that you're doing is cheaper in another country than another one. So, I mean, just depends what you want to use it for. And next thing we have is device targeting. So we can set another URL depending on what device you're using iPhone, app, iPad, Android, Blackberry. Why would you want to use this? What are use cases? Let's just say you are promoting an app. You have an app for the app for Apple Store and you have an app for, app for the Play Store on Android. So you can set if they're from iPhone or iPad, they go to the Apple Store. If they're using an Android device, it's gonna head on over to the Android, Android Store. So that's pretty cool. And next, we have the targeting pixels. Right now, I don't have any pixels added. Oh, on this one, yes, I do. So I have the Facebook pixel. I can add another one, Google Sass. The amount of pixels are gonna depend on what plan you have. What are pixels for? This is one of the most awesome tools that you can have for marketing. If you're doing ads on Facebook, on Google, on LinkedIn. And what does this do? Let's just say, for example, I'm searching on the web and I'm searching a whole bunch of sites like Home Depot, Lowe's, and those kind of stores. 
what's gonna happen when you go to Facebook and Google and to other sites, you start seeing a whole bunch of ads from Home Depot, for example, and you say, hey, how did that happen? How can they do this? Well, it's actually using pixels. So let's just say you're promoting, uh, let's just say uh, face, uh, an Android app, right? You're promoting that and you add your pixels. Well, anyone who goes to your the Android store, you can use the ads from Google and you can set targeting ads for them. If you go on Facebook, it's gonna show that ad for them also. So that's, do, that's actually called remarketing. So pixels are pretty awesome and you can use them right here. Next thing we have is the option for doing multiple shorteners. So let's just say you have like 20 URLs, maybe you want to shorten a whole bunch of URLs for your blogs. You set one for each uh, line right here, and it's going to bulk shorten all really fast and really quick. Okay, so that's the main feature of shortening. Next thing we have is the recent links that we're using. So we can set them to private, we can edit them, we can delete them, and we have options right here to add to folder, archive, share on Facebook, or share on Twitter. We can, we can edit these after, and this is an example of what we're gonna show right, show right now. So let's just say this is the long URL, right? And this is a custom alias that we chose. You can see it right here. So it's dash one. What's gonna happen? Let's just say I share this on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on web blogs. I even send it by email. And for example, what happens if your site is lost what happens if you lose your fan page from Facebook and you create a brand new one well instead of replacing all the links everywhere you just edit it here and add the new one so let's just say this was a new one and you just save it you still keep using this short URL so that's really really awesome you don't have to go everywhere and switch everything maybe there's a promotion and it changed you can just change the URL right here so really cool you can also password protect, you can add the note later, change the domain, redirection, made a title, made a description. These are added automatically, but you can also edit them. So if you share on Facebook or on Twitter or something like that, it's gonna add the one you custom used. You can change the geotargeting, you can add fields, you can device data, add fields, change pixels or add pixels. You can set it public or private, and you can do this after if you want, or you can do it in the beginning. Okay, let's head on back to the dashboard. And in the dashboard, just want to show you really quick, on the right side, we have recent activities. So everything that's been uh, used or clicked recently, it's going to show right here. See this right here, Mac OS, Mexico, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you got is the top URLs. So top URLs are the ones who have been most clicked, obviously, or most used. Next thing we have here is on the bottom, we got the recent links. Every link that's created recently, you have it right here. We can check out the stats if we click on this one right here. You can see when it's been clicked. So we have two clicks over here. We got 11 clicks on this day. We can do daily, monthly, yearly, or however you want to check that. We have top countries. We got Mexico, Germany, United States. People who clicked on this, we got all that info. Operating system, browsers, refers, and social shares. So you got all that options to actually have that information for your business. So all the, all the information analytics that you get there help you make better business decisions. So now let's check out the link management. If you have archived links that you've deleted over here, you removed or archived, it's gonna be over here. If you set the expiration date on a link, they're gonna be over here on expired links. If you wanna choose folders and put them in folders, that's really easy also. So for example, here I got SaaSwiz, like Social, AppSumo. I can create folders for businesses. I can create folders for the promotions I've been making. I can create promotion uh, folders for like whatever I need to be more organized. Next thing we have is the tracking pixels. Remember I told you we can add pixels. So these are my pixels. So these are my Facebook and AdWords pixels right here that I'm using. We can add AdWords, LinkedIn, Twitter, or AdRoll. Like I said, these are for remarketing. And depending on the plan you have is the amount of pixels that you can add right here. Next thing we have is the custom domain. So here on custom domain, it's, it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty cool. What you can do is head on over to a hosting provider or whoever sells domains. So for example, if I head on over to Namecheap, which I'm gonna leave a link in the description, just in case you guys wanna buy there, you can buy your own domain. So for example, I don't know, mybusiness.com, and you can add, you can point the DNS to Ushort and you can use that as your link shortener instead of using the pixly.me or pixly.link that's available here. All you gotta do is point DNS to Ushort.io. You don't have to pay for hosting to actually use this. All you have to do is just pay the domain name. So that's pretty cheap. 
Next thing we have are tools. Depending on the plan you have is the tools that you will have right here, tools and integrations. We got Quick Shortener, we got Bookmarklet, Developer API, and Full Page Script. What does Developer API do for you? If you have this available on your plan, what it does is help you if you do coding or you have someone that codes, it can code it for you and use this in your own app. So let's just say you create an app, you can use the shortener. Or if you create a, a coding for your WordPress site and it shorts everything automatically, you can do that also with API. So that's pretty awesome. This is Ushort. I hope, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys find Ushort interesting. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, hit me up here in the comments. Remember, the link for the deals is gonna be also here in the description. Thank you guys for watching. My name is George and this is Ushort. See you guys later.